Horn is one of the most exciting, unique, and loved entertainers in show business. A performer's performer who has musically captivated equally her audiences all over the world. Now, I do not intend to look or sound exactly like Lena Horne, nor do I pretend to think that I could fill her shoes. I would never be that pretentious. What I have intended to do in this tempting clip is to portray to you a captured essence, a brilliant career and a celebration of her artistry in words and music. There is so much more about Lena and me I would like you to know. So much more of her music I would like you to hear. This is my attempt to carry on a tradition that made me the entertainer I am today, from an era responsible for preparing and nurturing my gift. It is my pleasure to present to you all, for your consideration, my interpretation of this special and very personal production of one of the most exciting and influential entertainers of our time. I believe that my postcard to Lena Horn will bring you and your audience the joy it brings to me. Someday he'll come along. Out, fingers open, lots of facial expressions, makeup, foundation made especially for you, and Lena Ng. Yes, I said Lena Ng. Lena Leaning? <laughs> this was an expression adapted in Hollywood that became Lena's other trademark. They just didn't know what to do with her. Wasn't it convenient I had these two columns for this show? Speaking of trademarks, I guess the obvious other I refer to is her signature song, Stormy Weather, as well as Ill Wind. Originally, Stormy Weather was meant for Ethel Waters, but somehow it stuck as Lena's song. All this didn't help, though, when the part Lena really wanted as Julie, a mulatto girl in the movie Showboat, went to Ava Garner, wearing Lena's pancake makeup. Dare I think of the parts I really wanted. By the time I was born, Lena Horn was already a bigger than life legend. Lena started singing at the Cotton Club when she was 16. I started singing for audiences in Boston, Massachusetts. 
when I was about 12 or 13. One of Lena's quotes. There is no question in my mind that had I not been pretty, I'd never have been noticed in the first place. But now, happily, people listen to me more than they look at me. We seem to both be concerned more about how we sing than what we look like. I recently found out that in her younger days, someone had called her Willowy. In my younger days, an agent wanted to call me Willow. I rejected it at the time. Then, not quite knowing what it meant for me, I later took up the name The Willowy One, still not knowing that Lena was also called Willowy until recently. When I lived in New York City, I was called for an audition for her one-woman show on Broadway. After singing, her producer told me that they really liked me, but I looked too much like Lena's daughter. While working on a film in New York City as an extra, one of the stars, namely Sid Caesar, walked up to me and told me, you look just like a young Lena Horne. I was also an extra in the movie Louise, where she sang, if you believe, gosh, I wish I had been in that scene. In the 1970s, a new cotton club opened in Harlem, and like Lena, I can proudly say that I performed there for over one year. Can you believe it? Oh, uh, I did finally meet Sammy Davis Jr. These instances allowed me to fantasize that something about Lena and me had been transcended. Naturally, I saw her Broadway show, The Lady and Her Music. I sat in the front row. I was in complete and utter awe, watching and listening to one of my idols up close and in my lifetime. Wow, this living legend was dazzling. I couldn't believe it. present myself. I was mesmerized and I believed. For me, I too could become a famous singer and movie star. I could headline in the best showrooms, be on the cover of movie magazines. I could meet Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> I remember singing along with her records that we had at home. 
hearing her on the radio, seeing her eloquent Hollywood screen persona and her memorable appearances on some TV variety shows. And I watched it all while growing up. I see a rainbow ending now. We'll have a happy ending now. Take it a chance. Take it a chance. Me harm 
why not retire to a farm and be contented to charm the birds off the trees just disappear I care for you much too much and when you are near close to me dear we touch too much the thrill when we meet is so bittersweet that darling it's getting me down so on your market set Get out of town, get out of town, before it's too late, my love. Get out of town, be good to me, please. I wish me on, why not retire to a farm and be contented to charm the birds? From the tree, just disappear. I care for you much too much. And when you are near, close to me, dear, we touch too much. The thrill when we meet is so bittersweet that, darling, it's getting me now. So on your mark. Get out of town. This moment on 